Well, Tristan is going to one of my favorite places on Juma, and here we are with one of my favorite characters of the Mara, the Musketeer Coalition, just snoozing in the shade. It is quite a hot afternoon, and who knows how long it'll be that they decide to continue snoozing, but I do think we are in for some possible action this evening. It would have been 36 hours since their last meal, and they had a brief kind of investigatory chase, or at least one of them did this morning, which is a good sign that they were starting to think about their next meal, but they didn't really commit to anything serious. I've got a feeling that if they come across any half-decent opportunities this evening, we could get lucky and see them in action. Well, certainly good prospects this afternoon. Taylor with that female cheetah. I'm not sure. I didn't catch the name clearly. Kirsty did try and tell me. It sounded like Karula or Marula is a possible name that you guys have found for that cheetah, having positively identified her. I would be quite surprised if it's not Kasiri, because Kasiri was very close to that area yesterday. So I would assume that it would be her, but you can never assume things are chin. Maybe it could well be another female. good options for this afternoon actually it's a bit tricky to decide what to do Taylor also found a large pride of lions yesterday oh, sorry this morning so if all else fails they're not too far from here hi Paul you would like to know how often will coalitions break up um, I'm not too sure on an exact statistic, and I'm sure it all just depends on the individual coalition. You know, there'll be some of them that for some reason there's too many leaders in one group and they decide to split up, and others where the others are happy to just be second in charge and let the one individual claim all the dominance. There's a strong chance, you know, that a coalition of this size could break up. I'm told that it's not common for these large coalitions to stay together forever, but time will tell um, whether these guys break up or not. We've got no idea of when they actually joined together and how many of them actually knew one another from before, i.e. was it a group of three brothers that joined up with two other brothers or was it two, two, one? There's obviously a whole bunch of different variables. There is apparently going to be some DNA tests done. Apparently the scat has already been sent off and they're just awaiting the results to come in where we will then be able to know exactly who is brothers with who. Obviously we don't know how old they are as well because we don't know where they came from. Some could have come as far from as far as Tanzania. Others could have come from other areas outside of the Mara conservancies to the north or to the east or the west. So you do get a lot of wildlife in Kenya that roams outside of reserves and parks, which is quite unbelievable. There was actually a new cheetah spotted yesterday or the day before to the north of us in one of these conservancies that the researcher had never seen. And she said it was also a little bit skittish, which is a good sign that they haven't grown up in a reserve. Hi, Philip. 